So the challenge is called the Coast to Coast. It's a 192 mile walk, uh, which sets off uh, in St. Bees in Cumbria and finishes hopefully seven days later in uh, Robin Hood's Bay in East Yorkshire. To make the challenge even more interesting, uh, we've committed to carrying uh, all our own stuff. Uh, we're going to camp um, and not necessarily at uh, really nice campsites. So there's the first couple of nights uh, will be uh, indeed wild camping at the side of uh, lakes. Um, I think it's, it's a couple of things really. Um, both Wayne and I um, are really keen walkers. Um, I spend an awful lot of time out um, in the Peak District of, of my, uh, at the, with the weekends with my dogs and some friends. Um, kind of love it, and, and I think it's um, it's a challenge that I've always personally wanted to to do. So we've, we've purposely tried to set it as a challenge so that we are being challenged every day. Um, so we're averaging between 20, 27, 28 miles per day. Um, we've obviously got the weight on our backs as well, carrying all of that kit. Um, and we've not got the kind of modern luxuries going back to a nice bed at night. I think a couple of things uh, really. So um, it is actually DB's charity of choice for, for 2022. Um, so that, that, that was a key driver for us, uh, but I think the, the other is actually uh, the work uh, that the Samaritan does for, for the wider rail industry. Um, and you know, there are some fairly um, horrifying um, stats out there where, for example, uh, on average, uh, there are 250 suicides uh, on the railway every year. And actually, if Wayne and I can, can do something to help the Samaritans just prevent even one of those, that, that, that's one less. What I was really surprised at is the fact that every 10 seconds somebody calls the Samaritans in a crisis. I just couldn't believe it was so frequent. Every 10 seconds, it was like, wow, that's, that's a huge amount of people that are in need that I was certainly unaware of anyway, so supporting that with all the call handlers who are volunteers and, and having to manage that is, is such a huge task, so yeah, if, if people can give just a small amount to help keep those people trained and the lines open, even if it helps save one life at the end of the day, then I'd, then I'd feel like, yeah, we'd, we'd done, we'd done some, some good. I think ev everybody knows probably someone who suffered at some point. Um, I certainly know people that have unfortunately taken their own lives in the past, so um, yeah, I think if they were maybe more aware of um, charities like this and, and had more of that connection where they knew they could, they could call up, then it, who knows, it, it could have made a difference. Yeah, so ju just a five pound donation alone can help keep the phone lines open. Um, and having that phone line open could potentially help save someone's life. Just having that ear for someone to listen to when, when they're in a time of need and distress and having that, that person they can, they can speak to whatever time of day it is, whatever day it is, they're open 365 days a year. So um, yeah, could really make that difference. <laughs>